Hey guys, welcome back to the Martin Racing Channel or to the channel if this is the first time that you've been here. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be replacing uh, broken spokes on the pit bike. Uh, last time I went out and rode and went to the track and I broke four of my spokes and the wheel was definitely out of balance. It wasn't true. So in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to replace your broken spokes with these spokes right here. And I will also give you a link where to buy those in the description of the video. And uh, we're also going to be taking a look at something that you need to check whenever you purchase one of these Chinese bikes before you take off riding. Make sure whenever you get your bike that you go ahead and take the axle nut off and then put it on yourself and don't just trust them that they have it on the right threads and they're not cross threaded because I've never taken that axle nut off or I don't remember doing it and you can definitely tell that this is all messed up. I'm gonna have to get me a new axle. Um, but it's not a big deal. I'll just, I'll go to Power Max and send them a message and tell them I need a new one. I should be able to get it back really quick. But uh, just make sure you do check that whenever you order one of these bikes so that you don't have to worry about that happening. In order to be able to do this, uh, luckily mine still have the nipples still here. And so all you have to do is find your broken spokes Hopefully you can see these, but see how these are broken? We're gonna take these and unscrew them. All right, you then have to let the air out of your tire, let it all the way out, and that way you can push the nipple in. Uh, if you don't, you're not going to be able to take your new spoke and thread it through here to where it'll work right. So once you do that, you're going to push the nipple in. And then just screw it on. So I had four of them that were broke. And so I'm gonna go through and do that to each one of them. All right, if you got one that's tight, you might have to get you some vice grips so that you can get on it. Sometimes they get locked up pretty good in there, so you gotta be able to get it loosened up. But once it's loosened up, it'll work out fine. So you'll notice right here what we did was we made a little pointer tool just by using one of the old spokes. We took it and stuck it through the box. And uh, what we're doing is we're looking at the space between the wheel and that pointer. And so uh, we're going through and we're trying to true up the wheel as much as possible so that that space stays the same. So as you spin the wheel, you'll notice the wheel will go in and out from that space. And so what you wanna do is whenever it is at its widest point between this little tool that you've made and the rim, you're gonna tighten up on this side a quarter of a turn on one to two spokes and then spin the, rotate the wheel again and see if that helps you or not. If it is 
too close, then you can tighten a quarter of a turn on the other side. And so right now that's the process that we're in. The easiest thing to do is go through and make sure that all of your spokes um, are pretty tight. In other words, nothing that is uh, so loose that you can move it with your own hand. You want everything to be at least finger tightened before you start doing this. But um, this has seemed to work pretty well for us. We got a couple little spots that are still not 100% in true, but it's a... It was a it's, quarter inch out to begin with. Yes, yeah, so it is way better than it was uh, before we ever started. Pretty close. Yeah, I think that's about as close as we're going to get it. I think it looks good. Um, so, once again, this is what you do if you don't have a wheel truing machine. So, uh, it is something you can just do yourself. All we did was take the axle and put it on two jack stands and then made our own little pointer tool. So, that's something you can do yourself and not have to spend, you know, any money. test out the new spokes see how they do got everything tightened up perfectly I made a couple of laps the other day and they started to loosen up so I went through and tightened everything up a quarter of a turn so I'm hoping that they're all the way seated this time and I won't have to keep messing with them but I'll keep you updated and let you know here in just a second
right, man. Well, I made about five laps through there. Maybe a couple more. Enough to get winded up pretty good. But uh, all my spokes are good. None of them are loose. Super excited about that. So if you're looking at doing this, I'm going to put that link in the description for you. And go ahead and do it. It's definitely worth it. That way you can get back out and ride. Even if it's a temporary fix for right now, I'm uh, contemplating buying a set of billet uh, hub wheels with aluminum rims from Orion Power Sports as we speak. So thanks for coming to the channel. Look forward to catching you on the next video. Peace.